So Lunaria One team who are really interested in how we can take on the challenge of being able to uh, grow plants on the moon, which sounds crazy. You know, we all sit there and look up at the moon at night and I'm sure it's <laughs> mind boggling to imagine that there might be plants on there. And this is one of the first sort of key steps to be able to engineer new solutions in the future where you're able to actually propagate plants whilst off on space travel. Some of the innovations that have inspired our team were actually innovations that were conceived by researchers facing the challenge of how to sustain life when you go into space. So building from that, we're also working towards generating technologies that have spin-off applications both on Earth and in space in relation to how you can actually manage food and water resources and support life in extraordinarily challenging environments. It sort of really does your mind in thinking about like how would you actually achieve something that's that's quite crazy. I mean, you know, it's feasible, it's possible, but really understanding what factors you have to take into account and what are going to be the big roadblocks and how you can engineer your way through those roadblocks is an exciting process. Our team are working on being able to engineer the crops of the future. I've always been pretty food obsessed, so that impacted the choice to originally study agricultural science. I think I thought about challenges and what was really important to me and that came down to food. I've always been excited about being able to work in a space where we can be planning to deliver positive impact in the future for future generations. We're looking at how we can adapt crops so that they can be productive in challenging environments on Earth and off planet. We're looking at ways that we can improve their productivity and engineer them such that we can have systems that are much more sustainable to be able to provide the sort of nutrition that we need in the future for food security. So the mechanisms that we're studying are so small that they, you can't actually see them to the naked eye. We use both yeast and E. coli and a range of other different cell types to be able to propagate and manufacture the mechanisms that we're working on. And once we're happy with what we're observing, then we can move it into uh, plant species and test how it works in um, plant species in the lab, and then eventually take it out into the field. 